the Underbridge project is an affordable housing competition where we as designers look at how we can introduce affordable housing options onto an existing bridge. So the Gardner Expressway is a highway that crosses downtown that would be very accessible to the city for people who would be living in an affordable housing location. And we also, as a group, decided early on that we wanted to tackle what affordability meant. For the sustainability aspect of our project, we were inspired by biomimicry in terms of form finding. And we were inspired by how beehives work and how the structural stability of a hexagon shape is a key to its success. We all came from like different strengths. When we were discussing the project, designing together, everything was very collaborative. We were arguing, we were agreeing with each other. It was very fun. As architects, I believe it's our duty to ensure what we design not only meets the existing needs of the different communities and individuals that live around us, but also for the people that are to come. I think architecture is this interesting cross between imagination and engineering, where we can take a site as barren as under a bridge and under a big piece of infrastructure and design it to, to house life and create connections and house future opportunities for a huge group of people. Architecture means being critical about why and how we do things, specifically as designers for things that would be built for multiple lifetimes. It gives us a certain responsibility to be custodians of the planet and the space and the communities that we're a part of. Architecture for me means placemaking and seeking and uncovering connections among the vital aspects of human life such as urban conditions, social life of a human and other many aspects. Architecture to me is kind of solving a problem in the most effective way possible with out-of-the-box ideas and a touch of imagination so that it's benefiting as many people as possible, contributing to the greater good. Architecture is a collection of moments of emotions and a place and space people feel belonging to and feel comfortable to be around. We had an opportunity to participate in a design competition thanks to our parent company. We're a member of Surbana Jurong that consists of international engineering, architects, designers, and a diverse group of problem solvers. They have formed a global design council. So the SJ Design Global Design Council is about fortifying design culture within the group and, and getting as much cross-pollination as possible at B plus H. We believe that our design culture should be a collaborative process and that we believe that growing a body of ideas through dialogue results in a robust design solutions and innovative design solutions. What I really enjoyed about the transdisciplinary element element of this project was that everyone was an expert in their own field and was able to provide a very valuable input onto the project. And I think being able to approach it from a very multidisciplinary and very communally drawn out idea is an interesting way to approach a problem that requires many unconventional and unorthodox approaches. Being able to implement it, getting a feedback simultaneously and getting a validation of our choices and being able to implement those feedback was very memorable. I really like the idea of working on a project that's pushing the boundary of what we can do with affordable housing in Toronto, especially being from Toronto and knowing what the situation here is like and being able to think about a new possibility of where it could go. So this, for me, this idea of accommodating affordable housing on a bridge is poetic and pragmatic at the same time.